Team France, congratulations. Winning in Antols a relay. It was quite a few years actually since the last time the French team won in Antols. So congratulations. Uh, Lou, I will start with you. Uh, very strong performance on the skis, at the range. What are you mostly proud of? Uh, I'm most proud of my ski today because um, shooting I uh, missed the last one again. Um, it's not allowed for me to, uh, to miss the last one. So yes, I was disappointed about that. So my goal was to keep it up on track and, uh, and do my best. I feel uh, much better than uh, yesterday. So um, I just try to get a lot of time and uh, we'll see. <laughs> it wasn't the best uh, day yesterday for the French team. So how did you as a team work around to get so good today? Uh, we just, I think, uh, gave all we had and uh, now uh, all the rest of us have uh, nothing to, <laughs> to add. <laughs> the, uh, the week at, the, uh, at home will be great, I think. So looking forward to some time back home? Yeah, to sleep a lot <laughs> and uh, yes, to rest before the championships. Congrats. Chloe, second time on the podium this week. Uh, it seems like you're getting used to here. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a very good week for me. Uh, usually I don't really like Antols because it's so hard, but this year, okay, I like it. <laughs> we talked about the fact that you feel so confident in the shooting in the relay. Uh, today you were again in the lead. Did just go everything as easy as it looked? Yeah, I was not very good on the track, so I have no choice. I have to to put all my uh, to to clean all the targets, and uh, yeah, it was not easy, but uh, I was quite confident about my possibility to do that. So I'm happy with it, with that. Absolutely. How much are you growing as a team? Maybe confidence, you know, being in the lead, keeping the lead all the time. It must be also a bit new, I would say. Yeah, really, it's it's uh, very important to to have some relay like that because we learn a lot. We learn uh, in to to run in lead, and uh, that's very important to to have some experience for uh, individual race. How scary was the final exchange? Uh, not so much because I was sure it was okay. So. I was sure, so that's okay. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Team Sweden, congratulations on a podium run. Really strong performance. Uh, I will start with Lin. You opened the relay as usual, but it looked quite tough today. Uh, yeah, it was, was tough, but I'm satisfied with what I did today. And uh, I felt like much stronger in the ski today, so that was, that was great. <laughs> Wanted to ask you, you know, how difficult was it? Because the past few days, it looked really exhausting. I had some uh, trouble the last days with the scheme, but today it was a really step forward, so I'm happy, <laughs> really happy. Absolutely, and um, can you get us a little bit through the race? Because uh, the tactics of the openings are always changing, it seems. Is it? I don't know. I don't really <laughs> think about it, but uh, I think I see the first leg, like left are really easy and nothing special. And then I had one mistake in the prone and uh, had to try to catch the other team. And I felt really strong in the second loop. And um, I get a bit tired in the last one, maybe. <laughs> Couldn't really follow her. Uh, but in the end, I'm satisfied with what I did. So looking forward for some downtime at home? It would be nice, yes. On that low altitude, <laughs> normal altitude. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, congrats. <laughs> Hannah, you really looked, I must say, as best as ever for this 2023 today. Yeah, I, I'm really happy about my leg today. Um, and I think I had a great weekend here, actually. Of course, the sprint was, <clears throat> uh, it was first race on high altitude, it's always special. And it's tough for me, but after the first race, I, I always feel better and better. And um, yeah, today I felt confident uh, on my on my leg throughout the, the whole leg, and yeah, I had just one spare in the in the prone, and uh, I felt that it was yeah, I felt confident. It looked also very confident and very fast uh, shooting again. Yeah, yeah, I have a really good feeling at the shooting range right now, and uh, it feels for me it's a big difference actually from before christmas to now uh, i feel much more confident and i also have much more fun competing 
That's the most important part. So what's the plan now between now and the World Championships? Yeah, we go we go home uh, and we will stay in Östersund until we go to Oberhof. Uh, so we have our pre-camp at home and I think that would be really good for us to, to come home and just uh, relax uh, for a couple of days before we start the training and uh, take this last percentages of the shape uh, for, uh, for the World Champs. Any special meal plan for tonight? <laughs> no, for tonight. Uh, we will go to the airport uh, already tonight, uh, flying tomorrow morning. So um, I don't really know uh, what we will have for dinner. <laughs> no pizza for you. Yeah, maybe we will have pizza. I don't know. Or maybe McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, safe trip home and enjoy some rest. Thank you. <laughs> Team Germany, congratulations, uh, podium, very strong team performance. I will start with you, Janina. Very strong on skis today. Uh, how satisfied first thing with your performance? I'm really satisfied today. Um, I feel the whole weekend quite strong in the track and also in the shooting range. And with um, two extra shots, I think it's also in, in shooting okay. So I'm really happy today. And said so it looks really strong on skis. It seems like a form is coming right in front of the big event. Yes, of course, in the beginning of the season I wasn't uh, in top shape, but now it's, it's getting better and better and I'm looking forward to the World Champs and I hope that I can compete there. How special is it to get a podium with a, a team that is a bit different from the usual one? It was, um, it was incredible. So uh, yesterday evening we talked about, oh, it's so cool tomorrow and we are looking so forward to do this real aid together and I think yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Congrats. Hannah, what a fantastic weekend for you, not just today, but today was so special. Can you get us through the emotions? Um, the emotions were totally crazy. Um, I was really, really nervous before the race. Um, yeah, it's my second relay in World Cup. Um, yeah, and to run on the last position, it's, yeah, it's really special. Um, but yeah. I really look forward to it today, and especially with this cool young team. Um, uh, we just wanted to give our best and yeah, to fight for every second and yeah, to, yeah, to have fun. And, yeah. <laughs> Coming from my BU Cup here, so many people, so much noise. What did you think uh, during, the sh during the last shooting? Um, during the last shooting, um, I nearly had but I hardly had thoughts. I just tried to stay by my own, um, to stay in me and to just focus on each shoot. Um, so I hardly heard the crowd. Um, I was just happy when I um, hit the target with my extra bullet. And after that, it was just all out. <laughs> it was indeed the fastest ski time in the last loop. What, what did you think going through there? Um, yeah, I knew that Lisa Vitozzi is right behind me and that I have just five seconds um, before her. So I knew that I have to push from the first meter. And yeah, I just try to, yeah, to give everything I have. And yeah, I wasn't sure if it's enough, but after the Huber Alm, I saw that she's not getting closer to me. And yeah, that was the first moment I thought, yeah, maybe we can we can get this podium. Was this a dream weekend for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> can you tell us about this? Yeah, this weekend was yeah, really special for me. Um, I started this year in Deutschland Pokal, German Poker. And so it is really special. I had just one IBU Cup in Pokljuka. Then I went directly to Antos to the World Cup. And then with those um, places, yeah, I'm so happy and so satisfied with this weekend. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit crazy. And yeah, and I see that when you believe in yourself and when you always stick to your plan and to your goals, that everything is possible. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks.